today. I want this one. You want that one? Yeah. Oh, this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. everybody and uh, welcome back and don't mind me I'm just putting some tea tree ointment on my wonderful pimples that are popping up and look I only have myself to blame I believe my diet has been a little bit shaky now that it's winter and my body is just playing with me telling me to eat lots of carbs lots of sugar and enjoy life but you know what I am and I'm still enjoying life as you might have seen in the clip earlier it's school holidays and we all need a little bit of something to keep us surviving during this period I'm sure a lot of parents can relate to this and my little one wanted jam donuts my husband bought the wrong donuts yesterday I've been hearing about it since last night so screw it we went to the almighty 7 11 which just made our lives so much better this morning and I picked up a little something for myself my favorite Krispy Kremes uh, the jam ones and you know I've got a stage in my life where donuts precede health and clearly it's gonna do wonders for my pimple situation I have not had pimples since I had acne in my late like mid-twenties I had acne up until and then when I started having babies my skin just cleared up but now that that stage of my life is foreseeably over my hormones are playing up again anyway why I am checking in with you guys today is the very fact that I have a very exciting and scary appointment today let me just have a sip of coffee before we get into this because this is serious tea well coffee <laughs> I'm actually going to do my hair while I talk to you about this and I'm using something new that I picked up which is the dry shampoo by got to be by Schwarzkopf. I used to use their hairspray and I really really liked it. It wasn't the great greatest for hair health but it had amazing hold that was quite okay to brush out but this got a touch of color in there it's a dark brown I'd rather it just be a regular brown. I'm just going to be doing my hair with you and giving this a go while I'm chatting. My exciting appointment today, which I have postponed several times due to just life factors, expense factors, I'm going for a skin treatment I've never had before and I thought I would leave it to the hands of the experts. As you know, I'm super into skincare, I new face, I'm totally into anti-aging. I usually get non-invasive treatments. I've had my laser LED therapy and all that kind of stuff, which has been fantastic for my skin. But now I'm trying for the first time what they call an invasive treatment, which is micro needling. Apparently it involves really really fine needles pummeling the outer layers of the skin all around the skin. I'm a bit worried because my skin clinician said that some people need like a local anesthetic before it starts to happen and I'm like oh right, look I'm I've got a pretty good pain threshold it I don't think it'll bother me like I was just like oh it's just micro needling I mean they sell this sort of thing at the chemist they sell it at your beauty or makeup stores now like you can do micro needling at home but apparently the devices at home just don't hit the same like they do professionally with professional machines so I'm giving that a go today because we're all about the collagen and sorry don't mind while I just set my roots okay I'm just gonna let that sit in my day for Hair, so I don't mind the boof. Not to mention, I don't think I'll be on camera for many days after this. So apparently the period after you get this done, like you might have really sort of red skin or blotchiness or anything like that, it'll settle after a few days. So that's what's to be expected afterwards, but I will be showing you guys what my face looks like after microneedling and then after the full recovery, what it has done to my skin so take a good look this is the before my skin is actually quite healthy right now save the pimples I think it's a lot of mask wearing we're not applying my skincare properly in the morning that kind of thing being in a hurry you know stress probably too much coffee too much sugar mm, too much winter so I thought for those skincare connoisseurs out there or people that are just interested I will let you know how this micro needling by professional treatment goes and if it actually works what I might do from there on is just basically do it at home because obviously it's cheaper I've heard it also makes your product sink into your skin a lot better if you do it weekly which I'm all about because skincare 
is the key to anti-aging and obviously SPF and all that kind of good stuff. So I will take you along for as much as I can. I'm not sure if I'll grab any footage whilst I'm there, but definitely afterwards we'll be tuning in and I'll be describing how my microneedling experience went. Okay, now let me just ruffle my hair and let's see how this dry shampoo compares to my regular Batiste. And I guess the test of time, oh, it actually smells smells nicer than Batiste that's for sure and I love how it hasn't left any residue in my hair wow it's given a lot of volume too actually and I'm just going to run through it with my new hairbrush this is actually from Aldi it's a bamboo wet to dry brush just to smooth it out a little bit and detangle so happy I finally have a proper hairbrush because I was just using combs before and it did lead to a lot of hair breakage not to mention it didn't quite style right with my hair that'll do i'm going to be all ruffled feathers after my appointment so i'm not going to put too too much effort but that should do wow i'm quite pleased sorry i'm just looking in the mirror it gives a really nice soft natural result whereas i feel like the batiste leaves a lot more residue hmm. okay i'll be using this for seably guys and i'll keep uh updating you on uh the benefits of this got to be dry shampoo instant refresh Hmm. I think it's also a back combing one as well if you wanted even extra volume, but I'm quite pleased with this actually. And before we head off, let me show you what my little lunch is going to be on the road on the way back. Because now 7-Eleven apparently caters to everyone, which is fantastic. Life is all about balance. So next to my Krispy Kremes, which I might devour one before I leave, I've got this plant-based no chicken and lettuce sandwich. So it's actually a vegan chicken sandwich with vegan mayonnaise and vegan chicken. And I believe the chicken is not made of soy. It's got wheat protein in there because I checked on the back because um, soy is not good for the hormones. But I thought I'd give this a go because lately I've been enjoying a lot of vegan meals from HelloFresh and they use again a wheat based protein which I've really been loving. It's been really tasty, really gentle on the tummy and I'm just thinking I wonder if Krispy Kremes are vegan. It doesn't specify. Let's have a look. Hmm, doesn't specify guys but uh, like I said life is all about balance. And I'm wearing today something that would be appropriate for lying down on a beauty couch and getting a facial treatment which is this Kmart crop in a beautiful teal charcoal colour. It's a little bit green, it's a little bit grey, it's just, I love it. And I love these little wrist holes or thumb holes for the jumper. I think it's super cute, especially when you've got your nails, which I'm now foreseeably getting done. So that's one thing I don't have to worry about. I've got on some loose straight jeans from Cotton On, the most comfortable and flattering style of jeans, especially if you have very narrow hips like myself. It gives the illusion that you have something going on there. And I'm not quite comfortable showing my midriff, but it's how it be today. I might just throw a jacket over the top and going jewelry free again. I'm going to be having lotions and potions all over me. I just want to be comfortable and nothing tugging on me or getting ruined. And uh, wish me luck guys. Also, when you're being pampered, no one wants anything tight around their waist. Basically, if I could go in my pajamas to this appointment, I probably would. And a little handy tip, if you are wearing a crop, always go for something loose around the waist. I wouldn't even recommend wearing leggings because you can get that bulge when you go to sit down. So nothing elasticized. Go for something actually rather stiff, but rather loose is what I'd recommend when wearing a crop, especially people of maybe of a more mature age like myself, where bearing the midriff is not exactly something that we're all comfortable with especially after having children etc but if you want to get away with it i suggest going high-waisted loose uh, so you're covered for all situations whether you're standing or sitting ladies but first let's get to the priorities guys it's donut time mm. nothing like crispy creams <laughs> most good clinicians gonna tell me off Let me know in the comments if you're a glazed person or a filling person. The only two fillings I go for are jam and the caramel cream, always. But that powdered sugar just adds the right amount of sweetness. It's just tart, it's doughy, it's mm, yum. And I apologize to anyone getting FOMO right now and ordering Krispy Kremes on Uber Eats. Okay, daylight cam, I am a little bit early, which never happens ever. I mean, ever. I am never, 
ever early for anything. I'm always slightly late, very late, or barely on time. I thought I would park the car. I actually brought my vlogging camera with me today. Woohoo! Go me! Super organized while in one department, but I forgot to mention one other thing that is going to happen today whilst I'm at the beauty clinic and that is I wanted to open the dialogue with my skin clinician about continuing with the invasive treatments. So I'm talking those really hard questions like the anti-aging, Botox potential fillers, that kind of thing. I don't know, there's a word around town that apparently beginning such things are really good preventatives for the future as in sometimes if you begin them too late you can't really reverse what's been done and so forth so i wanted to just open that dialogue now i may never get these treatments i may get these treatments I'm open to these kinds of things. I am not in any hurry to get these treatments. It's more just preparing for the future. And I did just want to ask the real hard questions that a lot of people don't want to ask. Like I'm actually rather shy talking about it because last time I raised it, it was kind of shut down a little bit. So I really wanted to bring that conversation to the table for any of you out there who are potentially interested as well as to how to preserve our lovely selves as long as possible and stay looking our best. And you can be looking your best with or without such treatments at all. Uh, this is for anyone who's out there who is perhaps potentially curious like myself. And you know what? I feel like today is a really good start for the sort of more hard treatment options that are available out there. I know there's a lot more severe crazy things that they do in those clinic rooms, which I honestly am quite scared of. <laughs> And with in terms of the face, like you really don't, I think less is more, honestly. I've seen a lot of people that do more is more and let me tell you, no, <laughs> ain't for me. And wrinkles aren't really what my concern is. My concern is more just the, maybe just general sagging of the face as I age and what can be done about that preventatively, basically. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I will be filling you in all the afters. I'm going to enjoy my skin and... <laughs> The feeling of not having any punctures in my face for a few more minutes more before I head in. But I will see you for the after. Wish me luck. Mm. And you wouldn't know it, but uh, I brought my Kmart expressing pump with me to pump in the car. And I just got changed. I know, mum life on the run. But this thing has basically been such a game changer. I don't know what I would be doing without this $42 pump from Kmart and I recommend any mum out there who is uh, still a breastfeeding mum to invest it is, it is honestly the best investment you'll ever make you can recharge it it's portable you can do it in the car you can do it anywhere you can stick this part in your pocket and yeah it's just the most handy thing in life should I leave my chicken sandwich in the car I think I just might because I don't really need to bring it in with me. So that can stay nice and cool on the side of the door, perhaps. Such glamorous eating I partake in on the daily. Just a pre-treatment pit stop to the, uh, to the lab. <laughs> and these dried blooms in the bathroom are such a vibe. Probably from Infinity Flowers, actually, the same place I got mine. Nice idea. Just might steal it. <laughs> not, not the flowers. The idea. The idea. And you wouldn't know, it, guys, but this is the face of the after. I will go through what happened in the vehicle. Well, I much prefer that bathroom lighting. <laughs> I need to get me some of that permanently. If I could possibly look better after having my skin pummeled with hundreds of needles, if not thousands of needles which is what I felt lying down there it is glowing and it's all thanks apparently to this tinted SPF she was using on me it's a very expensive SPF with probiotics and no wonder I think this is the same product she used on me after my last treatment with her it just does no wrong. Maybe next time I should just go, get the tinted SPF, just pay a few dollars for it and forget about the skin treatments. Maybe that's the secret. Anyway, absolutely brilliant appointment. The downtime is actually a week. So for a week, I can't use any AHAs or any acids on my face. It's just basic moisturizer of which I picked up some more, but I'm actually not allowed to use that for a few days and all my other cleansers with lactic acid or anything else, I'm not allowed to use for a week. So it's basically lots of balm, moisturizer and just really basic hydration SPF of course and just keeping it really really simple with my routine 
I asked the question about injectables and I wasn't able to get all my questions answered today, but I am making an appointment in a few months time to answer those questions. And yes, I will be taking you along for that. So we can, as a collective, understand what it all is about a little bit further. And the girls at reception, they were quite young, younger than me actually. I and mean, they already said, oh, you know, walk in the park, already been there, done that. And they had fantastic looking skin. They looked really natural. So that's hopeful, hopeful. In the meantime, I'm going to drive home and I'm going to sample my plant-based chicken sandwich. And I'll do that with you before I start driving because I don't want to get a shock while I'm driving. It's not very safe. All right, 7-Eleven, let's see what you've got here. All right, vegan chicken sandwich, maiden voyage. Hmm, I really love this. Hmm, and I was lucky they were stocking my favorite so good barista oat milk near their coffee machine, so lucky me. Apparently, I'm a bit of a diamond in the rough. I have quite uh, robust. <laughs> Skin, luckily for me but I came out and reception was like oh what did you just have done I said oh the micro needling and they're like are you sure and I'm like yeah I felt it and they're like my goodness they're like you look amazing after we got it done our skin was like red raw we couldn't go out in public for three days and they're like you must have really you know <laughs> strong skin I'm like well no I also have three children but <laughs> And it was a bit uncomfortable. Like you do have to sort of just hold your breath sometimes. She went over my lips. She went over under the eyes, like everywhere. No place was untouched. Everything was done, but it was okay. It was bearable. It was almost like having somebody pluck your eyebrows, but just everywhere. If you were to have eyebrows all over your face, you know, That's how it kind of felt for me. So just a little side note there for anyone who's interested in microneedling that your results may not look like mine or they may look even better. But we'll follow up with my skin in about a week's time so then we can see what actual difference it has made to maybe the quality of my skin. But again, expect varied results because uh, my skin has been quite forgiving with me today. But then again, it is hiding under some tinted SPF right now. Expect a bit of redness or just varied results, of course. <laughs> and it's all about recovery today, guys. And I'm also downing my favorite hydration drink which is this raw organic drink it's got different flavors there's cucumber and watermelon i really like the blueberry acai and low sugar lots of coconut water low calorie as well full of vitamins this is going to get me in the zone for less donuts and more good health hopefully <laughs> okay we're jumping forwards and backwards in time here folks just really quickly. So if you want to know in a nutshell what it felt like, this microneedling, basically feels like right now that somebody has smothered my face in toothpaste and then shoved me out into the winter air. It feels very fresh, very minty, if that's possible. <laughs> that's how it's feeling right now, a little bit burny, and therefore this is where I'll be putting some balms and extra moisture. Apparently hydration is very good for the recovery after microneedling. Oh, there's traffic, hold on a minute. Also, I should note what else I found out from the appointment. I did ask, what is the difference between at-home needling compared to professional needling? And apparently professional needling has the ability to reach under the skin layers to three millimeters deep. And I was like, ouch. Whereas at-home needling, you can probably only do half a mil. And she goes, at-home needling is great if you want to absorb your skincare better. That 100% it will do. So if you're looking for that result, then that is a great option. If you are looking for collagen rejuvenation, pore reduction, overall skin texture smoothness, like she focused more microneedling on my cheeks because that's where I have my old acne scars. This is where the needling really comes into play. She recommends it getting it done probably every six to eight weeks and maybe about maximum four times a year, that kind of situation. So I've booked in my next appointment for eight weeks time. And in the meantime, we will keep a progress diary on how my skin is looking. I'm feeling a little bit burning, a bit glowy, but I've got a natural, nice burning blush situation going on. Finished my chicken sarni, which was absolutely amazing. In fact, I prefer it to, to real chicken. I've actually gone off meat altogether lately. Don't even give me a steak. I won't even look at it. I'm all about the vegan way of life now, I know which is fine i mean i believe it is healthier Whew. okay guys and i thought i'd fill you in on how i'm feeling in the evening before i do my skincare as you can see i am quite quite rosy now and my skin feels a little bit like it's on fire so i've just put on a little bit of this biome fermented sake spray by drunk elephant 
which I got in a sample just to add a layer of hydration because my skin was getting a little bit dry I have to say I might even add some of the balm that the skin clinician gave me but just to fill you in this is how the skin is the night of and I can definitely see why you would not put any active ingredients on the skin afterwards leaving it very simple skincare for the rest of the week I hope you found out some useful facts from the skin needling before I do my evening skincare we actually are about to go to a birthday party so I've just put in another touch up of my dry shampoo and this is the result guys lovely and bouncy and voluminous and looking nice and dry and mattified which is the important thing and I haven't even had to add hairspray which is something quite different for me. I've got a natural glow going on which is fantastic. I don't have to add any makeup to this. Not that I can anyway. It suggested that you leave your face quite plain for the rest of the week. I'm going to spritz myself yet again. I don't know how these people on YouTube make this look good but I just feel like splashing like seawater on my face right now although that would probably burn. <laughs> All right guys we've got to run. I'll catch you with an update very soon. Okay guys, we are back from the party and you can excuse the really horrible lighting in the bathroom. Now I have with me my little skin kit that the skin clinician gave me and I'm not sure what this is exactly. I think it's... Okay, I think this is my moisturizer in these tubes. I have two tubes and it's also giving me some balm just to top up any dry areas. As you can see, the nasolabial folds for some reason have really flared up. I don't know why. They've become really prominent, which is very annoying. She's also given me some gentle cleanser in these little sample pots which I'm going to use because my usual cleanser has some lactic acid in there so I'm going to use something very gentle but I thought I'd begin with some just basic micellar water by Garnier. I've got a bit of SPF on my skin but right now being the end of the night my skin feels really itchy like it's on fire and I'm assuming this is to be expected. Oh that cool micellar water actually feels so so good oh, that is so so soothing i could probably sleep with a cabbage leaf over my head just cut two holes just for the eyes <laughs> and one for the mouth and i'd be quite happy oh, that feels really good look how dirty that is Ew. okay i'm going to do a double cleanse anyway so This is super gentle. Oh, it still stings though. A bit like soap in the eye. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna need a flannel. Hold on. Oh my gosh, my face is burning. If this is gentle. Oh. So this is the aftermath of my link. That's okay. Beauty is pain and I accept pain for beauty and for most things in life. Just like childbirth, can't get the baby unless you want to go through the labor. So it's just one of those things in life. If you want to get the end result, you've got to endure a little bit of a discomfort. And I'm all about temporary losses for permanent gains. So I'm going to go in with my second clan. Oh. Oh, guys, my skin is on fire. Oof. Oh, it's running like the warm face washer over my skin. It is enough to just trigger me. I would definitely say the recovery day one from microneedling is a lot more traumatic than the microneedling itself. Ooh. Okay, I cannot wait to put some moisturizer on. Okay, double cleanse is done and I'm going to go in with whatever this is. I have no idea what this is. Actually, a gel. So I feel like this is some kind of 
Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Some kind of aloe vera situation. Okay. This is instantly putting out the fire. Oh well. Do you know what might help? Because it looks remarkably similar to my new face gel. I wonder if the new face gel would work just as well if I ran out. Because um, she did warn me that I'm going to run out of this very quickly. I can apply as often as I need. Um, and with the way that my skin is acting up tonight, I may be reapplying quite a few times. Ooh. Okay, that feels good. This feels good. Wow, that was intense, guys. Um, I'd be very glad not to wash my face very often in the next few days. I might even do just one cleanse a day. Oh, oh my goodness. Whew. I need a cold fan on that. And I'm just going to apply some of the balm that she gave me. It's quite like a thick consistency. I'm just on my lips because she also micro needled my lips. And just give them some love tonight too. I'm gonna apply a real thick layer. Doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> I'm looking a little bit like a train wreck, guys, but hopefully within the next few days, this especially will go down. I don't know why, but it has absolutely, it's like my face is Swollen is how I'd describe it. I think I'm just going to lay low for a few days and catch up with you and let you know how things are going and how I'm recovering. But um, definitely now I can see why microneedling is quite a invasive process because it definitely feels like I my skin has been invaded right now. <laughs> and just to end the video on a positive note. I also picked up some products which I will be able to use in the next few days after I run out of this beautiful soothing gel. I'll go back to using my usual moisturizer which is the Aspect Super Moisturizing Complex which is just a very neutral moisturizing cream. It's got nothing too active in there, it's quite gentle. And I also picked up more of my new favorite serum because the most important aspect of anyone's skincare is serum and it is the Demoquest Niacinamide Youth Serum and yes, you won't be seeing the effects of this now considering how swollen my face is um, but hopefully within a week's time I can get back to using this and putting some actives back into my skin and we will see the results hopefully from this crazy crazy Beauty rating. And good morning guys from two happy little golden Peter Alexander sausage dogs. And it is a glorious Sunday morning. We have some spring onions sprouting. We have Mount Waffle about to be deconstructed by the family. We have some fresh winter apples glistening in the morning light. And I have one very tired me this morning. I'm catching up with you on day six after my microneedling and for the most part, my skin is looking very plump and juicy indeed. Today is the first day I was able to use a few actives on my skin. It'll be a full week as of tomorrow, but my skin has healed rather nicely. Just to fill you in on some of the most noticeable differences is my forehead lines. I did have very, very fine lines as I do, you know, have quite a lot of expression. I bear a lot of expression on my face. And I've noticed they've kind of dissipated slightly after the microneedling. This area has also settled down, as you would have noticed on day one. This was severely, severely inflamed. But I feel now it is a lot more plump and healed over. And I just notice a general plumpness and smoothness to my skin. I definitely feel like there's slightly less general wrinkling. So I feel like it has done something. I feel detoxed and refreshed, so to speak. Unfortunately, I am not detoxed and refreshed after an absolute stressful week, productive week, but stressful. And then we ended it on a night from hell where children have gotten slightly ill again. We had fevers overnight and then I came face to face with a mouse in our bedroom. <laughs> I heard something scattering, I heard crinkling. We've had a few mouse droppings in our room and I heard something drop right next to me in the middle of the night and I, I sprung up 
and put my phone light on and came face to face with this mouse near my bedside table and absolutely lost it. So I had to spend a few hours on the couch last night, uh, not very comfortable, and woke up super early this morning as I love my morning routine to myself. It really sets me up for the day. So I carried on as per usual, made the waffles for the family as I do uh, once a week. But luckily today is the first day I can actually wear a bit of makeup as well, so I've popped a lot of concealer under the eyes, hence why I may not be looking as tired as I actually am, or perhaps I am. Also really loving the bed hair. This is actually my natural hair without my heatless waves through it. And I really want to get back to this. I feel like this style of hair actually suits me a lot more than having it too refined. I'm thinking one way that I can actually get this look, but perhaps with a few more waves through it is committing to a Dyson Airwrap. I just have been seeing it everywhere. Oh, there's so many good reviews about this product and it gives you not only the volume, which I love, but also the wave and it is something that's in the pipeline. Anyway, the actives that I've used on my skin this morning as I've gone back to my regular skincare routine as of today, which has been such a relief. And I just thought I would tell you what I'm using. I am using the Mecca Cosmetica Skin Brightening C Serum with absorbic acid. And it's quite a fantastic product. It's likened to my niacinamide, which I use as the first product that I put on my face. It absorbs into the skin super quickly and it leaves like a nice sort of tight feeling, not drying, just tight. And again, gives a really nice glow to give you an indication. This comes with a dropper and I use about maybe four to five drops of this on my face. Again, it absorbs super quickly, but really, really loving this product on my skin. You can tell it's high quality because it's very much like my quite expensive niacinamide vitamin C serum that I use. And as we all know, the most important part of our skincare is serums. They're the most powerful vitamin packed things you can put on your face. So good investment. If you're gonna put money into your skincare, put it on your serums. Another thing that I have to rave about, I have no idea what this is. I'm not sure if it's actually this brand that's in here. I'm assuming, you know what, it probably is Skin Fuse. This is like a, I'd call it an aqua gel. And this is what I was given after my treatment. And if I could keep using this, I would. It's literally like a wonderful primer for the face or like a hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure what this is. It's very much like the texture of my new face gel. It is a gel consistency, but it's almost like a drink of water for your skin. It literally instantly plumps, refines fine lines, and it just gives such amazing hydration that lasts all day. If I could use this as part of my skincare rather than just recovery, I would. And luckily, I have a spare tube that I haven't even touched yet. So <laughs> I'm gonna continue using this. I actually forgot to use it this morning, but whatever it is by Skin Fuse, I'm loving it. If I could use it in my skincare routine. And because I've had such a horrendous night, and this is in no way intentionally part of the video, I have received a bit of something from the iconic a bit of an end of financial treat to myself all items around 30 to 40 percent off and i had my eye on them for a while and without further ado which is the correct way to say my favorite saying let's rip open this packet because i have had a stressful week a bit of retail therapy tends to always make me feel better Oh, and I've got a nice $25% off. Thank you very much, I will be using that. Ooh, and a nice little white glow recommendation. I think I've used white glow before once and I really did like it. Comes with a bamboo toothbrush. Hmm. A, a sonic LED whitening brush with your purchase. Oh my goodness. So if you purchase a white glow toothbrush kit, sampled their charcoal toothpaste before, which I did like, you get a free Sonic LED whitening brush. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's sucking me into something else. So I've actually gone and gotten a few, oh! I actually got a sample. How amazing. And then I think I can probably scan some more and then get a free toothbrush. Oh, thank you so much, The Iconic. That was a nice little treat. Now. I had my eye on some accessories for quite some time. This one was severely reduced. I think I got this for $13 by Daisy. And I thought this would be a really nice necklace for summer. It's got a bit of green in there. And I thought this summer I really want to change it up with my jewelry as I generally go golds, pearls, you know, very, very safe. But I want to add a splash of color in there. And this was originally like $60 and I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> 
This isn't costume jewelry. I'm not paying $60 for costume jewelry, but it's this lovely pendant with a green stone inside. It's got nice little sort of sun definition or sun-like things. It's quite heavily weighted. So looking forward to layering this piece up. I might even try it on for you. It's got a quite decently long chain at the back as well. I think I can hear some children getting up, so I better be quick here, guys. What else? Okay. My favourite jewellery line, which you may or may not know, is a brand called Aurelia London. They do gold coated jewellery, but their prices are so reasonable. They sell them on the Iconic. I'm not sure if you can get them anywhere else. They probably do have their own website, but these pieces went 30% off as the Iconic do the best sales ever. And I thought, why not? Because when you're wearing quite classic, or a minimalist wardrobe like me. I wouldn't call my style minimalist. It's more just jazzing up the classics. Accessories are a great way to make your outfits pop a little bit. And I love experimenting with layering. And I saw this pearl chain pendant. And I'd never seen this kind of design before. As you can see, there's little pearls embedded around this circular disc and then it comes with a fantastic chain which is very very in and i thought this would be layered really nicely with the second piece i picked up as you can see child number one is up. right where were we <laughs> i've just popped on the first necklace and i thought it would be layered beautifully with this second piece from aurelia london and it's this very delicate enamel multi heart necklace and i thought this would go beautifully layered up with this piece here. So I'm going to try it on for you now and show you what I had in mind. And here are the pieces laid out for you. So you've got this beautiful enamel white pearl, which would look great on tan skin in summer. And then just laid up with a nice sort of chunkier chain with this lovely pendant. I do love the pendant necklace, but I feel like together, this is quite the cute little summer vibe notably in the heart of winter but one must be prepared guys and i am super prepared for the next season although i mean you can wear it now there's no hard and fast rules about what colors to wear in certain seasons anyway i digress i picked up a pair of my favorite jeans in fact they are the only jeans that i've been reaching for lately and i have them in pretty much all the colors and these are the loose straight jean from cotton on they are so so flattering they fit perfectly around the waist, like not too tight. They are a rigid style jean. They are just the perfect length. I think I'm five foot four. And skim over the hips, give a bit of volume around the hips if you are quite narrow like me and give that illusion of a bit of an hourglass figure. And I picked it up in the beige color and I will style these up for you later in the video. And originally they were $59.99, but I got 30% off these, so I grab them in a heartbeat this is a new color from them but a nice sort of canvasy everyday color which again so versatile you can style it up with so many pieces and when you find a jean that just works pick it up in all the colors that is it for this little unexpected iconic haul and uh i might even feature this little jewelry piece on my instagram i might just quickly do that now whilst i have slightly more time on my hands this morning and i think i'm also going to pick up this sonic toothbrush from white glow to go with my white glow toothpaste so i will give a review on this also and the little one has requested his usual uh waffle stack with waffle soldiers halved marshmallows and fruit just like his mummy life is all about balance <laughs> And just quickly before we sign off this video, I thought I would show you the loose straight jeans on and please ignore the top. By no means is this a look that I would wear out in public. It's just a little bit too Mrs. Claus. I'm literally just doing a little bit of a pre-Christmas filming, but I thought I would show you the loose straight jean on. In my humble opinion, it's cotton on best range of jean and as you can see it's a nice loose casual style and the color is just perfect it's fresh but not too white so if you get the chance cotton on is not stocking this at their stores anymore you're going to have to go through second party retailers such as the iconic they still have a stock of this loose straight jean i recommend you get your hands on it while you can in like i say all of the colors now, I am aware that quite some time has passed, about perhaps 
two or three months since I got my micro needling and I do have some makeup on so I do apologize for that however I've just put minimal makeup on today because it is very very hot and I'm filming for another short that'll be coming up very soon but end result very satisfied with the micro needling the tautness of my skin the improvement in the nasolabial folds is absolutely incredible I was going to throw in the towel when I saw how deep the lines were set after the treatment but I realized as the weeks passed it was just swelling and now I'm left with a lovely elasticized strong feeling skin so anyone considering the treatment it is value for money it's expensive I'm actually going to get another treatment done in the next few weeks so forgive me if in my vlogmas videos I'm going to be looking a little bit puffy but hopefully by Christmas and New Year I will be back to my regular beautiful natural skin healthy glow that was a lot of adjectives I need a cookie. <laughs> I will see you in my next vlog or next information vlog. Whatever you come here for. Thanks for sticking around and au revoir. <laughs>